February 9. Don't stop what you're doing. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. Once a week at work, we have a meeting with our whole team. This is the time when the team is briefed. We also have a peer share exchanging pertinent work-related information. I'm a creature of habit. My topics to share usually come from some interesting article that I've read in the New York Times, generally dealing with finances that are applicable to our business or team members. One morning, as I prepared to find an article, I had a discouraging thought. All your shares are from the Times. Why don't you do something different? So I gave up searching for my would-be article and went to the meeting with nothing to share. As the meeting progressed, the partner said, I won't share everything because I'm sure some of you will have the same share. I'm usually first to share, but responded that today I had nothing for the team. He was surprised that I had not brought an article that he had read for what would have been my usual share. You see, he had even dubbed me Queen of the New York Times, but not in a bad way. He had come expecting me because of my usual routine to be the one to share about this interesting article which he proceeded to discuss. I sat there and half smiled at myself, though thinking that my contribution were going unnoticed, I had created a reputation for finding and sharing articles of interest related to our profession. Is there something you keep doing but think your efforts aren't being noticed? Keep doing it anyway. Twice yesterday, I came across this verse. Whatever your hands finds to do, do it with your mind. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 Friends, while it may feel discouraging at times because you think your efforts are not being noticed, don't give up. You have a very important role to play no matter how unimportant you may feel it is. God has a way of multiplying things when we place them in His hands. Lord, please forgive us for believing that what you have asked us to do is inadequate. Please strengthen us and empower us to do whatever it is you have given us to do. Please encourage us along our journey so that we may know that we are on the right path, doing the work to which you have called us. Keishan Gordon